That's true. Are you ready? Okay. So let's go. Hi everybody, Patty Toledo again here. Ta -da! This time the, you're, you're not having a problem. I wasn't arrested yet. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> so behave. Never. <laughs> Never. So I'm here with Dedo. This time nothing about oomph, everything about what about bio. Okay. So we're gonna talk about what about bio. Um, how can you tell? What can you tell about the show tonight? I think a lot of people is expecting a lot from the show after you got sick and it has to be postponed. Did you think the expectations got higher because of that? I don't know. I, we we're gonna do our best. You know, it's a self-made, self-made, self-promoted project. No label behind it. No management and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a complete free fun project so hopefully we're gonna um, broadcast this energy on stage you know uh, this this uh, positiveness um, this uh, uh, this free thing you know mm -hmm. that that's about what about Bill um, it's completely independent so yeah hopefully we're gonna appeal free and independent tonight mm -hmm. and healthy <laughs> Where did the idea come from? I know there is the story of you peeing in New York. How yeah. much is it is actually true? How much of it is your creativity talking? Well, yeah. uh, it's always the same with myths, you know. Mm -hmm. If you if you uh, solve the riddle behind a myth, <laughs> everything is gone, you know. It's like... Uh, that means he made it up. Yep. <laughs> I spoke, I'm sorry. So, no. Um, yeah. There's much truth behind it. Okay. Let's tell it that way, you know. We were together in the US and we were arrested. And um, yeah, it was really completed to get free again, but we uh, finally made it by uh, by singing. And that was great. That was fun. I mean, they made fun with us, you know. Mm -hmm. We knew it, you know. So it was great. And those were very nice cups back then. And uh, it was our luck, you know. They, they could have said, oh, fucking tourists, been, you know. Yeah. Fucking tourists, let's... Uh, Let's keep them arrested. But they were they were pretty relaxed, so it was great. And I can imagine that you guys behaved really well and were really polite and nice. That's why they yeah. were also nice to you. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Or maybe it was because we had to uh, catch the soap in the shower. I don't okay. know. <laughs> okay, that's the part of the urban <laughs> myth that I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm interested know. now, though. <laughs> The, the camera girl keeps Sorry. talking. Mm. <laughs> Tell me. And okay, it has nothing to do, but it popped my mind on that. Like the baseballs that started the project doing the kind of covers, the versions, and then came to uh, their own music now. Do you think what about Bio is gonna grow? What are the, or you're just going with the flow? Yeah, we're just going with the flow, you know, we just let it run and uh, let's see what happens, you know. It's, as I said, it's mainly a f about fun and about being completely different uh, in contrast to our uh, main project. So, yeah, it's great. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's like uh, a yoga for us. It's mm -hmm. like yoga or tantra. <laughs> <laughs> yoga on stage, tantra backstage. <laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds good. Like music therapy. That's right. Okay. And uh, about the production, how did you get the idea about the, the dancers back everything? Because although it's only you and Chris officially, yeah, yeah. on stage is quite a lot of people. That's right. We have many friends who are doing this kind of music, who are able to do this kind of music and uh, who are into this music, who like it. So. Um, yeah, it was great to, to uh, get all those people together and uh, being a huge family on stage because it's more action and it's more fun. It's like with Oomph, huh? we, mm -hmm. we didn't want to talk about Oomph, but <laughs> right now we're, well, seven it's kind of. we're seven people with Oomph on stage and it's much more fun right now and we're eight people with, uh, with Water Out Bill and it's, it's fun too. It's, it's a bit like the Kelly family. <laughs> it, it makes harder to tour though when, when you have so right. many people. That's right, but it's 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 much more fun, you know. People can uh, compensate uh, each other, you know. Mm, true. If, if you if you a bit sick, you know. Uh, if it's just two people, it's it's more uh, calm and it's more fixed on two backs, you know. And 
it's easier to carry the the uh, the whole tour event the uh, responsibility on much backs you know, yeah, on many true. backs it's many backs yeah right and why this style of music where that it was something that you always liked or how yeah. did you think of it i'm a huge fan of of the old rat pack stuff you know like uh like uh, sammy davis jr dean Morrison, and uh, frank sinatra those people were great entertainers and uh, it's a huge great contrast to what I'm doing actually uh, with, with Oomph so it had to be different that was the main goal with my side project so yeah and um, Chris and I had the same the same background you know we liked the grunge music of the 90s so we, we said well why not picking out our favorite songs from the 90s and let let's do them like the Rat Pack would do Cool. So I would have done it, um, and yeah, it was. As I said, it's 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 all like a huge fun thing, you know. It's all about creating good vibes, good feelings, good emotions, and um, being beyond serious. Yeah, because we talk Germans don't have sense of humor, right? That's right. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> None of it. And have you ever had the? Ch had you? Have you had the chance of showing what a Bellevue songs for the original musicians or Not yet, not yet. Uh, but uh, if we meet them at uh, some festivals with Oomph, I'm gonna show them, and then afterwards they will gonna beat me, something like that. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's they're gonna love it because it's not a normal cover band. It's not just going on stage and repeating whatever they do. It's a completely makeover of it. Yeah, that's that's how cover versions uh, should be like. Mm -hmm. If they're too close to the original, it's it's uh, you can you can just uh, forget it. You know, it's you can. If you do a cover version, it has to uh, show another angle of the song or mm -hmm. in another direction, um, and that's what we do with uh, "What About Bill." You know, uh, do the swinging versions of the old grunge stuff. Well, the Marilyn Manson one is brilliant. I <laughs> show you. everybody and ask them to say, guess the song. <laughs> Nobody can guess it, ever, <laughs> ever. So it's like doing a whole new song if That's you think it. about it. That's it. Now, do you think there is a chance of an album from What About Bill? Yeah, hopefully. We're working on it. You mm -hmm. know? Why not? Uh, we've got uh, 20 songs together right now, so it sh shouldn't be a problem to collect them, to put them together and then bringing them out. Well, that would be cool. Uh, uh, I know a lot of people who would die for the CD, so... Uh, yeah, maybe we, we will bring it out on vinyl and tape or something like oh, that. Oh, <laughs> that would be so cool. Yeah. Like picture vinyl with, yeah. you know, remember when you had this picture yeah. vinyls, that was, they were brilliant. That's right. And how has been the response from the fans so far? Uh, I, I think the ones who are open for this kind of music love it mm -hmm. and the other ones just think what's that you know so uh, we know that it's pretty far away from what Oomph does so mm -hmm. we cannot await that everybody who listens to Oomph likes this you know so but that's that's for sure that's clear that's that's okay we've got no problems with that so um, Oomph is beyond swing, of course, mm. and uh, but that's, as I said, that's the main goal. And uh, if I want to keep all the Oomph fans, I have to do a side project which is pretty close to Oomph, but that would be boring to me. And that would make no sense and anyway. That's right. that's right. So I could use those songs for Oomph then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You could just do Oomph. And that's it. But if you think that Oomph like we weren't talking about it it's kind of hard to run from it but if you think that oomph always does something different uh, it in a way it's like it wouldn't it it's a side project of itself if you compare the first album that's from it. the last that's it but there's there's things to there is a limit there's a limit of course yeah there are borders but they are far away <laughs> yeah <laughs> They are lo long borders, but That's it. yeah. Um, and the thing is, um, how far do you think you can do with it? What, what about Bill? Like, how different song can you get in a version of Red Pack? Would you be able to get like a death metal song and put in this version? Yeah, no problems. The the 
anything goes, you know, and mm -hmm. um, the more far away it is from the original, then the more uh, interesting it goes, you know, to me. So why not doing a Slayer song? Oh, that would be brilliant! Or whatever, you know? Yeah, why not? Rain and blood. <laughs> That would be really cool. <laughs> now then, that's a promise. Raining blood in red type version. Oh, yes, yeah. I would love that. Next time, we, we're gonna do all this really hard stuff, all this metal stuff. Why not? Iron Maiden. Oh, and <laughs> to the hilt. <laughs> that would be brilliant, really. Uh. And remember that we did that, that before, but now we're gonna do this on camera. You have to choose three songs to play. On the radio, yeah, yeah. And the last time you already chose Flung Sinatra, so you can't repeat it again. You have to think of something else. Yeah. So, but so what about Bill Style? Yeah. What would be the three songs? So, so this time it's gonna be Dino Martin. So mm -hmm. um, uh, that's Amore. Oh, yeah. cool. Um, or oh, the next one. Oh, let's see, let's see. What c could I do? What could I do? Oh. I think it, it probably fits uh, pretty much as well to to do uh, Björk. It's also quiet. Oh, it's my favorite Shh. song. I love it's this also song. Quiet. It's nice and quiet. Shh. Shh. It's nice and quiet. Oh, she's brilliant. But then again, starts another big riot. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. And the third one, uh, let's see, what could it be, what could it be? Hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is, definitely. It has to be close, or pretty much? Mm, well, you can do whatever you want, yeah. you know that it's your show. I think Evidence from Faithful More would be great oh, too. Oh, cool, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. You are a big fan of Bjork. It's the second time that you ask for her songs. Yeah, Have you great. met her before? Yeah, at some festival, uh, but uh, not in person, you know. I've seen her a couple of time, li times live on stage, but I uh, haven't had the f pleasure so far to, to meet her really in person. So. Oh, you have to go play in Iceland. That's right. I do a do maybe do a cover version of her <laughs> to get her oh, attention. That would be cool. <laughs> What the fuck are they doing with my? Oh, she's crazy now. I think she would love that. Yeah. I think that it, it depends. <laughs> well, it depends on the version. That's right. <laughs> okay, and then send a message to the Brazilian fans. Yeah. To the Finnish fans, to the German fans. You know, you have fans everywhere. Yeah. Um, hello, you people out there in the wide world and the. What, world Wide Web or in the whole universe. Um, thank you for your faith, for your energy, for, the, for your enthusiasm, for your long-lasting spirit, you know, and uh, we take profit from you, only from you. Uh, without you we were fucking nothing. That's the fucking truth. So, um, thank you very much. All over the world, I, I cannot count each, um, I, ca I cannot mention each uh, single country because there's too many so um, wherever you are keep on spreading the what about bill and oomph viruses because they're serious <laughs> and remember that the last interview I did I asked fan questions I did a big mistake. There yeah. was one girl, okay. one little girl that I forgot to ask her question and I promised that this time I would ask. And she is 14. Okay. You know, it, she might be your youngest fan on the on the Facebook one. Yeah. And she asked me, Justy, it's for you. And she had asked me to ask you if you think you're a typical German and if you do, what are the characteristics that you think there are the typical German ones besides the sense of humor that we know already? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm a vegetarian, you know. Germans eat so much meat. So, like Eisbein und Sauerkraut, Bratwurst und Kartoffeln. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, I think for many people all over the world, the Bavarian people are the typical Germans, so that's strange for us to see because they 
they they are Bavarians, you know. They say, no, we are no Germans, we are Bavarians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, my husband is from Schleswig Holstein. He gets so mad when people say that he's Bav that he well bought leather and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that. Uh, yeah. Vice beer. Yeah, that's right. So I don't know. The the, cliche, the cliches of the Germans uh, all over the world are completely different from what the Germans actually are. So it's True. really uh, difficult for me to uh, to explain, but. Yeah, maybe I got some some parts of within my personality which are German, but my ancestors are coming from all over uh, Europe. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I consider myself more, rather a cosmopolitan person than a German. But I'm really thankful that I live in a relatively free uh, country um, and a peaceful country. Um, yeah, peaceful. We don't do Still. war. We don't do <laughs> war. We just sell the weapons. <laughs> yeah. But well, it, we have to get the money somewhere. Someone is gonna do that. Yeah, if it's not us, yeah. it's someone else. Yeah, people like our clockwork precision, you know. <laughs> yeah, and the perfectionism. You know, Germans are very perfectionist, I would say, yeah. and work really well. So in that point, I would say you are very German. Yeah, maybe. Um, that's why we uh, chose. Um, a midlife crisis from uh, Faith and More for What About Bill because there's the sentence I'm a perfectionist and perfect is the skin me mm -hmm. yeah maybe I don't know yeah but they're not Germans okay uh, well, well maybe they're singing about Germans who yeah knows? maybe who knows? Yeah, who knows so I hope you guys are ready about it and happy that that I always say I always make them very jealous so Thank you, officer. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. And have it was fun. a pleasure. Cool. That was easy. Cool. You can stop it now.